Today is May 3, it's around 6.50 It's 6.50 in the morning, but this video Gagawa tayo ng panibagong vlog Vlog that is something related with myself We're Hi. born, live, and grow And let's have some tour around in my place It is because sabi nila after the election is the lockdown na naman I don't think so. It's true, but let's just have some dirt around in my face. So, tada! Let's prepare myself. Kasama ko ang dalawang chikiti. Hello! Hello! Hi! Ayan, since walking distance na naman kasi yung uh, barangay namin dito. So, bye! Hello everyone! I am now here at the municipality of Mabini, a place where I lived, burn, and grow. And as you can see, andito yung structure ni Apolinario Mabini. And this is our building under construction pa. And the current staff of the municipality is at the barangay, which is at the back. And later on, pupuntahan natin yan. I think it was 2019. Sinuula siya no 2019 and it's still ongoing. And this is the outcome after matapos ito this one. And I think pag matapos na yan, the municipality of Mabini is the most beautiful municipality in Davao de Oro, in the province. And municipality of Mabini is the second class municipality. And the first one is the Compostela Valley. And uh, alam niyo ba na ang... Um, Mabini is yes. ang unang mga taong putira dito noon is sa mga mansaka, tribo ng mga mansaka. At it was named as Pambog, municipality, I think, municipality of Pambog pa at that time. That's hindi pa, ano, Mabini. And before naging Mabini is pinangalan nito Donya Alicia. Nakuha yung pangalan Donya Alicia after the president here and his wife died to World War II by the Japanese soldier in 1953. At pinangalan siya Mabini after nun dahil it deserve as an honor to our leader in revolution which is a culinary Mabini. And municipality of Mabini consists of 11 barangays and ito yun and now tutor ko kayo sa ating isipit barangay so, Before when I was young and studied here, this one is the gym and now I think it's the new faculty office of the school. And now this is the newly built gymnasium of Mabini Central Elementary School. Yung tinutok ko kaninang faculty offices once our gym namin before. Ang laki-laki ng development ng gym at bakit kaya pag umaalis yung student sa kapagalan na yung school? Hmm? 
And it's been so long that I haven't visited my alma mater, Manila Central Elementary School. Sobrang ganda ganda ng paligid. There's a lot of plants. Kasi before, wala pa itong mga ganito. And this one is our canteen. This is also our field and a plug full. This is a place where we did our flag ceremony. And ayan, ang dami dami kong experiences dito sa paralan nito. Dito ako natuto, kumilala ng bagong tao, kibigyan, and so on. And now, it is a new Heroes Park. Mabini Central Heroes Park. And this is our old one. Ito yung naabutan ko noon. And since nagka-pandemic, ito muna yung ganap ng park namin ngayon. And also, meron kaming wishing well doon. And this portion is the grade 6 ano, rooms. And before, it is a library. I don't think so. Ano na kaya ito ngayon? Diyan, may munting kubo dyan. Yan. Say ako office before na. Kasi sobrang tagal na yan. And we students never, never kami umunta dyan. At then now, wala, hindi siya ginawa or hindi man lang siya inalis. I think there's something mysterious over there. And before, wala ni naman ang nag-usang pumasok sa hand. Katabi niyan is a playing area ng mga students. They can play swing, kung ano-ano dyan. And unfortunately, maraming mga bata ang na-accidente. And that's why they decided to remove the playing area. So, hindi na kami bukunda doon kasi bawal na. Ayan, I'm done filming here at the Magini Central Elementary School. Paaralan kung saan ako graduate ng elementarya. Ayan. At ngayon, dadako tayo sa tabing dagat kung saan likas na yaman sa aming barangay. So ayan, napaganda ng paligid. Napaganda ng paaralan namin ngayon. There is a lot of pretty development. Dagat, sa Porok Madasigon, Bye Bye Madasigon. Dito kami sa tabing dagat. Dito kami kumukuha mo siya ng mga ulam, mga pinason, mga kasag, mga isda. And my hometown here in Porok Madasigon, Barangay Combo, karaniwang isda is nagkukuha dito is yung tamban. Tamban is tamban Save with your ano, ulam ng pangagahan. Kasi mura lang yung tamban dito worth, I think, 25 or 30 yung tamban dito noon. And, minsan sa gabi, in Bisaya is Manlo. Nagapanulo mi the rain. Huh? Huh? We did panulo here. <laughs> yes, nagapanulo mi the rain. Yan. In municipality of Mabini, there's a lot of bitches. It became known dahil po sa mga bitches. Most especially is dahil po doon sa island dito na naging known is yung Lubi Plantation, yung Dusitani po. And I don't think so kung makikita ba siya dito. Basta yung isla na yan, yung, yung edge niyan, yung tumoy, yung tumoy, yung tumoy. Masay yung tumoy. <laughs> Dyan po yung Dusitani. And ayan, sa barangay namin, pinagpupunan ng hanap buhay is ang pangingisda. Dahil malapit lang kami sa dagat. Ayan. Sobrang dumi ng dagat. Pero before, when I was young, my God. Mula umaga hanggang hapon, nandito kami nakababad. That's why, itim-itim ako. Mukha lang yung mukuta. Ayan. Minsan, ang mga tao is naninirahan na sa ibabaw ng tubig. Yet, there is something race about it. It's because if may malaking alon or may bagyo, maka-apekin talaga yung pamumuhay or yung bahay nila. But, it's something better naman din kasi, ano, dito din kasi sila kumukuha ng pagkain nila. At, minsan, ginagawa nila ito. Ang negosok. Katulad nito, may fish cage. And this area is the Kim Wood. At sa loob nito ay may mga establishments, katulad ng ice plant. Ayan, yung mga buildings dyan. And the shipyard, mga sasakyang pandagat. Nandito nakalagay. 
and also yung fish cage ng mga bangus ayan as what I've said kanina ayan yan yung mga isa sa mga pinupukunang hanap buhay ng mga residente dito at ito yun sila kuya mga baby fishes and also meron din dito mga shrimp farm ayan Everyone, I am here at the Bye Bye. So I am now interviewing Kuya. Si Kuya. Kuya Dodo. So yeah, I'm to the So I'm going to go to the So the So the So the So the So Mm. Kinasun? Dagan ugot na nako ha. Ani kinasun kasi diri a. Kadud an. Ani na mo diri a nang inhas? Dagan na mo kuha o. Kami sa una ka magdugo si pangita ani ay. This one, let's try to open the stone kasi minsan nasa ilalim ng mga bato ang mga lamang dagat katulad nito. Ang sihi. This one, napakasarap ni itong ulamin and kailangan mo lang ng karayang upang buksan ito at alatin ang nakalak na yan. At I've got this one. It has a big eye. It is called as taktakon because kailangan mo pang itaktak para maalis at lumabas yung laman. 